just arrived to Border Town, which is famous for their uh, white kangaroos. to Barossa Valley wine region and we just came out from uh, the info center and uh, got some information about the look and there are a couple of uh, very nice lookouts and sculpture parks that we should uh, visit and uh, also we selected two wineries, vineyards and um, there's also a whispering ball This is Lou Miranda Estate, our first spot uh, for tasting. We are at the Barossa Reservoir Dam, which was South Australia's first dam. The shape of the dam is supposed to be a great whispering wall, so we're gonna test the theory and see if we can hear Peter from the other side. Oh, like over? Yeah. Tell me, what do you see from that side? I can see you at the car park. Can you wave your hand? Can't see you. Jump up and uh, down. <laughs> Pretty cool. Did you see that? Yeah. We arrived to Springton. There is the Herbig family tree. Apparently, people used to live in the tree. It's quite big. Yeah, it's quite spacious. It's bigger than our troopy. <laughs> So, here in Springton, the Herbig family tree was the home of Friedrich Herbig, who arrived here in 1855, and he lives here with his wife and 16 children. It's a pretty interesting setup. We are just arriving to Turkey Flat Winery, our second spot, and also probably our lunch spot. We chose the white wine. It's very, very good, very tasteful. Tasting number three, Artisans of Barossa. There are six um, different wineries uh, providing tastings at this spot. We are in uh, Iron Knob now, 
and uh, heading to uh, Gola ranges and just did a, a Google Maps estimate and it shows we would have to go around but we found a very small uh, unsealed road and we are taking that uh, hope we will find some uh, interesting stuff there As the science says, about 1592 million years ago, there was a volcanic activity here, and that's why the ranges have this reddish color. Now let's go closer and see those pipes. Good morning. We got up um, just now and we see the pulled up a rock next to the car. Mm. It's really, really close. Look at it. Hmm. You see that straight straightish line behind Peter that's a snake trace I wasn't here yesterday evening it must have gone somewhere there what is there? Oh, with a bit of water. So, in the last few days, we left from Port Augusta, drove down to Iron Knob to the track here, came through the color ranges and now we are up in Siduna and from here we head west straight through the Nullabor. Now we are heading off to the Nullabor, just filling up the tanks one more time and the next stop is the Windmill Museum. Just at the Hellabor Roadhouse. We have a quick lunch and then we are off continuing our trip. Yeah, where are we going? We are going west to Gunnar. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> so the section here is called the Great Australian Bite and it is believed to be the longest line of sea cliffs in the world. So that's why it's so special. We are just driving into Kunalva homestead um, for our camping spot for the night. Um, the road has been rocky for a while and now it's a dirt road. Um, we should be there soon. Interesting. You can go inside and check how they lived here. Small bed. Uh, 
another bedroom probably huge house oh this is the bathroom looks good the kitchen Oh, one more person. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a full house today. <laughs> Let's set up then. Hey guys, hope you like this video. If yes, give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't. And also, we just launched our Patreon page. Patreon is a site where you can support ongoing projects with small donations and monthly caps. So if you have any questions, visit our Patreon page and we'll answer anything there or here in the comments. Let us know what you think. Thank you. See you next week. Thanks for watching, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe. See you next week!